Yes, sir. This is for uh, Dr. Ro uh, Ram Paul. Dr. Paul, I'm a Golfin County Judge Executive, Dr. Charles Harden. I'm a family physician, and I would like to ask you about a specific program that Congressman Rogers uh, has brought to our area. As, as uh, Mayor Abramson was talking, we have a great problem with drugs in all the Commonwealth, particularly in my community. And Congressman Rogers has a program called Unite. And I just would like to know, uh, do we have your support and do you believe that Unite is a good bargain for the taxpayers of the Commonwealth of Kentucky? I think issues like drug use and abuse are best dealt with at the local level. If you read Night Comes to the Cumberlands, written in 1961, they were already talking about people that were not working, having difficulty, addicted to drugs. What have we done for the last 40 to 50 years? We've thrown money at the drug problem, and it's still there, if not worse. I think your solutions need to come from local people and local programs, not the federal level. I will always vote to keep more money in Kentucky to deal with problems and send less money to Washington. Every dollar you send to Washington gets swished around in the bureaucracy. Half of it gets left in Washington. Half of it's wasted. Half of it goes to political cronyism. And I'm not referring just to this program. I'm referring to government in general. And so I think I would rather see drug abuse and dependency treated and uh, paid for at the local level. Judge, I, you have my steadfast commitment to support Operation Unite. Um, even though Hal Rogers started that program, I, can, I count Hal Rogers as a friend of mine. Um, one of the first meetings I took as Attorney General uh, was when Congressman Rogers was nice enough to stop by my office. And um, we sat down and he said, General, how can we work together? And I talked to him about how I'd campaigned on this issue of prescription pill abuse. Um, and as I traveled the state, uh, just about every family in Kentucky has been affected by it. My own family has been affected by it. And we have a unique problem here in Kentucky with prescription pills fueling too much crime. And while it's easy to say you want to deal with it at the local level, it's really an all-hands-on-deck situation. Um, and Congressman Rogers was nice enough to award the Office of the Attorney General um, an award, actually, for being the easiest agency to work with. We have co-located agents together in areas of, of eastern Kentucky. We worked together um, We worked together over the course of a year and a half with the FBI, with the Kentucky State Police, with HIDA, various agencies at the state, local, and federal level to shut down that prescription pipeline that was coming in because the problem is Kentucky has a pretty good monitoring system in Casper. It's just that our surrounding states don't have it. So they're not tracking their prescription pills and they're flooding into places like, like Eastern Kentucky. So this is an all hands on deck situation. And what I've learned as Attorney General is that in an era of declining resources, when we've had to cut our own budget by 26%, this has to be a collaborative approach. Now, I'm going to have to work as a Democrat with the Republican Hal Rogers to make certain that Operation Unite is funded and that they're working with the Attorney General's office and the state police. We can't have turf battles. We need to have all resources available for a problem that is so pervasive as this particular one.